Gabrielle Chanel, America was first and foremost a myth. The little orphan girl had made up a story where her father had gone across the Atlantic to make a fortune, a fantasy that Coco would keep up her whole life. But this imagined continent would soon become very real. On the eve of World War I, Chanel's free and liberated designs caught the attention of the American press. Her collections were discussed, described, sketched, and photographed. In 1924, number five lands on American shores and sweeps up the women of the new world in its wake. America loves her, Hollywood wants her. For famed producer Samuel Goldwyn, only Chanel could replace Hollywood's ostentatious luxury with genuine style and dress Hollywood stars both on and off screen. But Gabrielle plays coy. In 1931, she crosses the Atlantic for the first time aboard the ocean liner Europa. Like all other prospective adventure seekers, she sets foot on Ellis Island, accompanied by Mizia, an associate, two assistants, three maids, two models, 15 trunks, and 35 pieces of luggage. From New York, she boards a beautiful white train headed for the West Coast. Upon her arrival, she is greeted by celebrities such as Greta Garbo, there to welcome the incarnation of Parisian chic. Newspaper headlines for that day, two queens meet. Believing that luxury and simplicity should always go hand in hand, Gabrielle takes the era stars and transforms their bodies into Chanel silhouettes. Despite the economic depression, she has access to vast means with which she designs sumptuous creations for the likes of Barbara Weeks, Madge Evans and Gloria Swanson. When Hollywood dismisses her looks as being too clean, Gabrielle Chanel chooses to not compromise and walks away. Nevertheless, the United States continued to worship the woman who, according to Vanity Fair, was the first to apply the principles of modernity to fashion. Admiration, popularity and support for her would never waver. During her 1954 comeback to the forefront of fashion, her collections were scorned by the French but cherished by the Americans. The press wrote, At 71 years of age, Gabrielle Chanel has created more than fashion, she has created a revolution. The United States had nothing but praise for Chanel. In 1957, the Neiman Marcus Fashion Award dubbed her the most influential designer of the century. In 1959, an exhibit at the MoMA featured the packaging for number no. 5. In 1969, the Broadway show Coco cast Catherine Hepburn as Gabrielle Chanel. Other stars shared her freedom and audacity. Marlena Dietrich, Elizabeth Taylor, Jane Fonda, Jean Sberg. Even Jackie Kennedy chose Chanel for her official outings. The love between the United States and Gabrielle Chanel would be sealed forever when two legends would meet, Marilyn Monroe and Number 5. So I do Chanel Number 5, because it's the truth. Declaring that she only wore a few drops of Number 5 to bed, Marilyn turned the perfume into the most beautiful clothing. Gabrielle, who as a child saw America as a legend, became herself a legend to America.